this is Dr. Do again. This video is on alphabetic list of problems. Continue with letter E. Today I'm going to talk about the endocarditis. Um, is there any situation regarding uh, related to the endocarditis that you need to visit the emergency? Yes, endocarditis itself is an emergency situation because this uh, inflammation of the most inner layer of the heart chamber can cause the arrhythmia which is a very risk and also because usually the endocarditis is caused by the, by the sepsis which means bacteria circulating inside the blood vessels so if that's the case then it's very urgent what kind of signs that uh, might indicate this endocarditis high fever uh, lasting for um, last more than five days associated with the chills and cannot be brought down by the medication or counter fever medication and you really feel sick and sick and uh, feel fatigue and uh, sometimes uh, associated with the heart symptoms like either feel chest uncomfortable or irregular heartbeat either too slow or too fast or irregular so these are the signs especially for those who have some other uh, um, in, in terms of uh, past medical history not quite healthy or there's some other social histories or use uh, drinking heavy drinkers or if you have this kind of situation then I really uh, that's a sign for emergency visit um, so before I talk about further of this endocarditis let's talk about the heart structure we all know the heart has four chambers and also the valves connect to the uh, uh, separate the atria to ventricles and the valves separate from the the uh, big large blood vessels from the chambers so uh, and uh, microscopically um, uh, the the structure of the heart wall has three layers the most inner one um, and uh, the middle which is the muscular muscular and the um, the most outer layer is pericardium, uh, myocardium, and endocardium. So these are the three structures. Uh, we already talked about the, uh, I think the pericarditis also can ha happen. Usually pericarditis, uh, what are the pericarditis? The pericardium has two layers, one layer coating on the surface of the heart, the other layer on the mediastinum. Uh, so in between there's some chambers, uh, there's subtle chamber with the fluid, so facilitate with heart to contract or dilate, to lubricate and also to provide nutrition. Some of the systemic disease like lupus or uh, rheumatoid arthritis can cause this pericarditis. The consequences of pericarditis is eventually because of inflammation and uh, the fluid and the absorption cause the fibrosis. So um, that, that is the, um, the sign that uh, uh, the pericarditis, the heart, um, there's some uh, chest pain associated with heartbeat or associated with breathing and also um, can hear the, the murmurs special for this pericarditis. So, uh, and the endocarditis uh, is the inflammation of the most inner layer. Um, usually, it's caused by the sepsis, like I said, which means the bacteria is circulating in the blood, um, um, end up with uh, in that uh, um, inner chamber of the heart. Um, so we all have this, uh, sometimes uh, uh, bacterial infection usually just localized, for example the strep throat, you have the streptococcus infection, only the laryngitis or pharyngitis and the treated by bacteria and recovered. But for those people who had uh, other comorbidities, impaired immune functions, so this bacteria can um, just enter in the bloodstream, cause the systemic infection, uh, sepsis. So this is a systemic infection can cause endocarditis. The best, the worst uh, situation of uh, endocarditis is um, because this bacteria can cause the vegetation, which means the, uh, the abnormal growth inside of the heart chamber along the valve, or the myxoma, which is uh, the uh, gross kind of tumor of the endo. Uh, Mitral structure, endocardial structure. So these, either of this will 
cause the serious complication. For example, if the vegetation fell off, then uh, circulating with blood may lodge somewhere. If lodge uh, in the spleen, cause the spleen infection. If it's in brain, cause the stroke. Or if it's in lung, cause the PE. So these are these are the uh, complications consequences. At the same time, because of this um, uh, endocarditis can cause the uh, arrhythmia, which is also very dangerous. So, having said that, if you had a past medical history, immune uh, impaired, uh, you feel fever associated with the chills, high fever and the chills, and cannot brought down by, by the medications, then you see your physician as soon as possible. Especially if those fever and the chills are associated with extremely fatigue and uh, uh, chest discomfort and also the irregular heartbeat or heartbeat too fast or too slow or, or other associated problem like you feel uh, very very sick or, or extremely fatigued. So if that's the case, uh, even can change uh, auto, uh, can change uh, can be associated with auto mental status. So if all of these are presented, then you need to see the emergency as soon as possible. So when you visit the emergency room, how to treat it? First of all, the co to confirm diagnosis, uh, either through blood culture or through the um, the uh, image study to look at the the heart chamber, the heart valve, and also to identify the bacteria if it's diagnosed, to see what kind of bacteria cause this endocarditis and to check, to check the antibiotics which are specific for this kind of bacteria. So this is about the um, endocarditis. Uh, probably you already know it and uh, if you, uh, like I said, just the, the risk factors is very critical for not everybody can get get this we all get bacterial infection sometimes when not everybody get endocarditis just the, the small group of risk uh, uh, population so if you are belong to that population if you have if you experience these kind of symptoms uh, go see your uh, emergency room as soon as possible to diagnose and to treat uh, anyway, so this is the video for today about endocarditis and I hope it helps. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.